viruses. Viruses are not cells. They cannot carry out metabolic processes or replication outside of a living cell, requiring some sort of host. Virus uses that organism's DNA or RNA to copy its own genetic material. Viruses are comprised simply of a bit of genetic material, like DNA or RNA, and a protein coat called a capsid. Normally, in organisms like humans, we use enzymes to code for proteins using the principle that DNA, our instruction book, codes for RNA, which can then leave the nucleus, and then RNA translates that code into proteins on ribosomes. But some viruses can go backwards from RNA to DNA, hence the term reverse transcriptase. This is the name of the enzyme that enables viruses to reverse transcription, which is this process here. Transcription is the process in humans of coding our DNA into messenger RNA in order to produce proteins like enzymes. You may have learned about transcription when studying our videos on protein synthesis and DNA. So this is powerful. Viruses have this unique ability to then use our own machinery to produce more of its own RNA and protein coats. So next, we want to talk about a bacteriophage briefly. A bacteriophage is just a particular type of virus that specifically infects a bacteria. Yes, viruses can attack any living thing, bacteria, plants, you name it. So, hence the word bacteriophage. And finally, the viral genome can enter two types of cycles, the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle. These cycles are just two different methods, methods of replication. The lytic cycle such as when a virus causes the common cold, produces an active infection, usually within one to four days. This occurs when a virus enters a cell, produces um, its own DNA from the cell's machinery, and then lyses or bursts out of the cell, leaving a dead cell behind or leaving by exocytosis and leaving a living cell behind. And then it moves on to infect other cells. The lysogenic cycle is a bit different. Think so in lyso, so tired, and think sleep. The lysogenic I like to think of as a sleep mode. In this stage, the virus enters the nucleus of a cell and its DNA becomes a permanent part of the host chromosome. In this case, the genes might stay active, I'll put a clock, for a long, long, long time. And it's inactive for maybe months or years, but eventually the virus may get replicated by the host's chromosome, and in that case, it would then enter the lytic cycle. So the lysogenic cycle is when the virus is asleep, or so-called asleep, and it would then enter the lytic cycle. It could perhaps go back to a lysogenic cycle and hence the word cycle. Many viruses are deadly, but most viruses do not even kill the host organism. They simply harm them just long enough so they can multiply and spread to other organisms.